hello and welcome to the show. I am here on Forza Motorsport 6 with another silly car build. My vehicle today is the Rally Fighter, which is quite a crazy vehicle to begin with. And we're going to make it uh, even more ridiculous, really. Because uh, there are, I can't remember, I don't think I could put these engines in it in Forza Horizon. I, I don't remember though, because there is an option to put in the 6 litre V12. That is a Ferrari Enzo engine, which is, I think, the most powerful engine you can swap into cars in the Forza games. So we can get an awful, awful lot of power. We do also have the option to put the NASCAR engine in it as well. Um... But uh, the NASCAR engine will get uh, 995 horsepower, the V12 will get well over a thousand, so we're going to go with a V12 powered rally fighter. The corners are going to be scary, I think, is uh, is what we are go going to be seeing here. Oh yeah, and the rally fighter rear wheel drive. With uh, all of this power, there goes the twin turbos on, up to 869 horsepower in, a, in this. Oh dear. This is going to be an interesting one to drive. Uh, we're going to... Ah, yes, of course. The adjustable downforce provided from a bumper guard. Yes, we will need that. It is definitely... We're going to need all of the help we can get. We're getting this thing turned around some corners. We're going to have the uh, the sort of... the. I, I was hoping for a crazy wing on the back, but no. No crazy wings on the back of the uh, Rally Fighter. Now we're going to, much like with the other uh, Raid... Uh, what's it called? The Raid ch Charger. We're going to put on some racing tyres that look completely wrong, but never mind. We're going to need them. We have no option to upgrade tyre width, so it's going to be with whatever it comes with. I mean, they look fairly decent, but I, I'm not sure about them. I mean, they, they look okay. They don't look amazing, though. Uh, we're going to get all of these parts to get up as much weight as we can. Uh, differential could be quite in uh, quite important. I'm not sure if we're going to have... like we had, The Raid car was very peculiar with it's, uh, I'm, I'm still fairly sure it was with the suspension, where it moved around on it, um, with it sort of spinning just one wheel, that actually made it relatively easy to drive. I'm not sure whether we're going to see that from this or not. Fingers crossed it'll be okay to drive. Uh, we have got a bit of a bit of weight reduction, down to £3,300, or for uh, yeah, uh, not, not quite, it's sort of close to the 3-4, but um, we're talking about the same weight as the Raid, uh, the Raid Dodge, really, and now it is just stick on all of the power bits and see how much horsepower we can get out of it, which is going to be, yeah, quite a lot. We will lose some weight with the exhaust, but we will gain it back again when we go to uh, upgrade the turbos to, to sort of full full race spec. It's not doing too badly with PI. There we go. We're over a thousand horsepower. Thousand and thirty-seven. Uh, and oh, we can't upgrade the turbos. Okay, so they just kind of defaulted the. I guess maximum sort of race turbos. And uh, da, 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 we're still climbing. We're going to have as much. We're not quite got the same torque. Not quite got the same torque as the Dodge. But uh, <laughs> we've got the power in a rear wheel drive rally fighter. Uh oh. We are asking for trouble. There we go. 1,182 horsepower. It. It's a lot of power in a relatively heavy, relatively heavy vehicle. I forgot that the uh, intercooler is going to add a fair amount of weight. Yeah, 3,400 pounds we've got, but 1,200 horsepower near enough. Plenty of torque in, well, it's, um, it's an interesting choice of vehicle. Again, I have concerns with the, uh, with the suspension. I think we may be bouncy or have the similar issues we had with the, uh, with the Dodge. But uh, yeah, we've got an incredibly, incredibly powerful rally fighter that I have absolutely no idea how it's going to uh, to drive. Before though we get behind the wheel of the uh, crazy rally fighter, we must first of all give it a target time to try and beat. And I've gone slightly different direction with uh, with this one. I'm in a currently rather soggy Lotus Eleven. Now this is an A-Class car, however, of course the 11 is a very, very good handling car, however it has a quarter of the power we get from the Rally Fighter, uh, probably about a quarter of the torque as well, uh, so I'm kind of curious to see uh, to see what will uh, what will happen. We're going to go for six laps around the, uh, the Brands Hatch Indy circuit, see how quick we can get the 11 and then see if the Rally Fighter can beat it. 
haven't driven the Lotus 11, uh, 211 sorry, yet in this game, so I'm not quite sure how it's going to drive. And uh, yeah, we've got some uh, the pouring rain to uh, <laughs> to contend with. Now I never uh, the 211 was was incredibly fast on Forza 4. I never quite liked it on uh, on 5. It had the same problem that all of the track cars did in that we had a lot of front end grip, very little in the rear end grip, which made it very unbalanced, or certainly to, for my driving style made it feel very unbalanced. I never really liked it. Um, on here, so far, we are you know, not doing too badly. Now, admittedly, of course, being in the wet, there is just less grip in general. There is, there is just going to be far less grip uh, available to the car, so I'm expecting we shouldn't have the same the twitchy problems that uh, you might expect from track cars. Uh, ooh, getting it stopped for turn one here is fun. Uh, I, remember, I'm in the handling car at the moment. I'm in the, what should be, far, far easier, far nicer to drive vehicle at the moment. <laughs> Um, and I'm still having some issues. You've got to be so careful. Coming down here, that stream of water is absolutely horrible. If you hit that wrong, you will see that uh, certainly in the wet here, I'm running a little bit more down the middle of the road. Ideally, you kind of want to be as far to the... Uh, ooh, slightly some more. As far to the right as possible down there so you can get the line through the next turn. The problem is if you hit the water and you start aquaplaning and your re rear or front wheel so much as touches the grass, is it game over, you're... <laughs> you're going to have a very big off. You can get away with it in a front-wheel drive car if the rear wheel touches it, because you can boot it and you won't spin. And those of you who watched the multiplayer video I did on this game a while back saw me do that with a Civic. You can save it with a front-wheel drive car, but in a rear-wheel drive little Lotus, like this one, uh, you're not. You're just simply not going to get away with it. I am braking quite early for uh, for these. Hey, carry a bit of speed in there. Uh, Tip the car in and hope. So yeah, I will kind of run a little bit more down the middle here, just to make sure that I get up across the puddle cleanly uh, in this vehicle. And we'll all run across the kind of muddy curb area. Not really ideal on uh, on that one. Now, how much speed dare we take? Yeah, I mean, you just sort of turn in and there's this understeer, as, as you would expect from a car driving in the wet. We just simply do not have the grip. And we are, um, I was not quite expecting as much understeer. From the uh, from the Lotus, so this is kind of a good thing. The balance suits me a lot more. We haven't got the ridiculous rear end wiggling around all over the place that uh, you sometimes do get. I mean, the brakes on this car are phenomenal, as you would expect from a Lotus and a very very light one at that. But I've pushed it too hard. <laughs> Typical. I have to open the mouth. Uh, I was going I was going for that a little bit silly. Oh, we got beached it on a curb. <laughs> okay. Uh, things to look out for. Curbs apparently nasty. Nasty buggers. Uh, down there, I was just getting, wanting to get going, and the uh, car was like, nope, we're going to play in the sand for just a little bit longer. Right, there is a nasty puddle on the inside of uh, that turn, but you tend to be going so slow at that point, it doesn't really matter. It's this one down here. It's the river that is the uh, the bigger the bigger problem. The rest of the rest of this uh, this layout of Brands actually the indie circuit, there isn't really any more big puddles to uh, to be concerned about. On the GP layout, there are a couple of puddles, uh, a couple of the slightly awkward positions, but uh, yeah, it's, it's mainly that river going downhill that is the uh, the problem. I'm really struggling getting it turned into that uh, this sort of final corner there. We're kind of just drifting out, and not, you're not really getting not really getting fantastic speed. There is a big puddle on the inside. When you're racing side by side with other cars, you've got to be aware of that. Uh, I'm. Uh, <laughs> And now being a slight coward, I definitely think I can get away with maybe being later on the brakes. Oh, the curb is horrible. The curb is absolutely horrible. I have just just thought that, uh, well, the Rally Fighter is a big off-road car. And, well, there are quite nasty curbs and it's raining. And we'll see what happens when things rain and I hit curbs. Uh, there's always a possibility the Rally Fighter may end up on its roof. I hope not. I don't. I. I think the suspension uh, is race suspension, so it might actually have stiff enough suspension. Okay. Well, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Let's not. <laughs> let's not worry too much about rolling a rally fighter. Uh, just yet. Yeah, God, and then if I try and get that corner a bit differently, then we start to find a little bit of the old oversteer through there. I do much prefer the balance though of this 211. It's much nicer. Uh, you know, if I've been driving the one from Forza 5 in the wet, I probably would have binned it a lot more. Uh, the only times I've been this one here have been trying to push it. Oh, there we go. We do still get that little bit of oversteer. <laughs> when you're really going for it into turn one, I, I was pushing that one there on the brakes. Though. I mean, in the dry, of course, that would be easy to do that. 
but um, oh, with the back end wanted to let go now. Now, I had to compliment the car, didn't I? I had to say something nice about it, and now it's going, ah, I shall, I shall prove you wrong, I shall be a pain in the ass on uh, this final lap. I'm not sure we're going to be going a huge amount quicker this time around. Uh, now, if it were a second down with those big slides, if we could be neat through here, I might be able to make up some time. It's this final turn, if we turn in too vigorously, the back end, ah, we don't got it better that time. Much better that time, as we start to drift out a little bit wide. That was a much better final sector, but uh, had all of the problems through turn one and turn two. Yeah, not sure we're going to be uh, to be going any quicker. Indeed we are, we made up some time. So, a 50, a 53, 53.153 is our target for the <laughs> rally fighter to try and beat in the rather soggy conditions at Brands Hatch. Can it do it? Well, it's got a lot of power. An awful lot more power than this. We'll be far quicker at a straight line. Are we going to have the control, though? That, uh, that is the question. Right, now it is the uh, the turn of the beast. Well, it's slightly less wet in here. That's, uh, <laughs> that's an improvement. Okay, let's see how a... Uh, Rear-wheel drive rally fight affairs with uh, 1,200 horsepower in it in the rain. Okay, first issue, we don't really turn. We don't really turn that well coming down that uh, first... I mean, it absolutely rockets away when you can get... Oh, we don't stop either. Okay, the not, the not turning and the not stopping bit, that could be a small, a small issue. Only a minor one, really. Speed! very brief speed because then we jump on the brakes and the pillars are very <laughs> okay any corner that goes to the left we don't really see coming is i know there's a corner here somewhere i just got to turn in and hope oh or you put the back wheel on the grass and then that kind of does the turn in for you um okay yeah that pillar is a, that's an awful place for visibility there is just none of it in this car uh, if we can get it, again, this is another car, it's surprising me how well these ludicrously powerful cars are faring uh, on the power delivery, although that did just want to do a wheelie, coming down the uh, the start finish straight. Oh, we may have braked too, oh no, wait, we got it, we've got it, we're fine, we've sorted it, uh, careful now, <laughs> on the way down there, oh, get off the nasty kerb, uh oh, oh, now we're really not stopping, don't ooh, hit anything, okay, got away with it, uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of driving a little bit like I expected. However, for a thousand, or near enough 1,200 horsepower, you can actually use a lot more of that power than I expected in this. It does pretty well at getting it, I mean, I'm flat out here, 120 miles an hour down this section, which is not, you know, that's not too bad at all from this. Admittedly, I've got myself all completely out of shape. We wouldn't have to be braking a bit earlier for... Uh, for that part of the track. Okay, come on. Come on, Rally Fighter. You can do it. Yeah, I mean, I could almost... Oh, if it would stop lifting its front wheels up, I could almost be flat out all the way coming onto the uh, coming onto the straight here. I mean, it cracks 140 down there. Oh, I should have... <laughs> <laughs> Should have gone with my initial thought. I thought I'd brake too early. It feels like you've brake too early with this car, but uh, you haven't. You haven't. That's just how you have to drive it. You have to make sure that you get it slowed down like that. Uh, right around the uh, the first corner. I should also uh, tell you this car is essentially a hundred pi higher than the uh, than the Lotus. That's the kind of that's the kind of sort of task I've set the Lotus to see if it can if it can beat this. And so yeah, it should be it should be interesting between these. Uh, oh, you've got between these two. Uh, we're fine. Oh, although we're not quite so far. If we would stop picking the front wheels up, that would be nice. If we could stop doing wheelies, uh, it's. It was doing really well on power delivery. I'm amazed just how much of this power I can I can use. Ah, that pissing wheelie though. Ah, it's, yeah, it's not wheel spin that I'm having a problem with. It's the front of the car lifting up a 57.1. one. Uh, I've got a couple of laps to. Uh, if I can get a clean lap, you know, it might be it might beat the Lotus possibly. Uh, oh no 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 no! With the bouncing and the yeah, I don't need you rolling at the moment. That's not what. We're, we don't need a jelly car here. I need you to stop putting your front wheels up in the air and uh, kind of use some of the use some grip from the front of the car. Actually, try and help get the damn thing turned. It's, I mean, to be fair, the actual the actual handling itself is not too bad when it's all got all of its wheels on the ground. When it has all of the wheels on the ground, yeah, it's, this doesn't handle too badly at all. There's not kind of the same chronic understeer that we got 
from... Uh, no, wheel round now. Thank you. Uh, yeah, there's not the same chronic understeer that we got from the uh, from the Alpha. It, it does get turned. Admittedly, we're not quite going as fast as we were with the Alpha because, well, we can't because we're in the rain. But, um, yeah, you know, it, it does get turned pretty well. And, I mean, it will rocket up to 140 down here. But then I've got to jump on the brakes because I want to make sure that I can at least get a couple of clean laps. Oh, no. Two wheels. Bad. Bad things happen there. Uh, <laughs> Okay, maybe we're not quite safe from rolling it. Uh, it probably could go over without too much encouragement uh, around here if we aren't uh, if we aren't careful. Certainly trying to carry speed down turn one. Again, get that power down. I mean, in second gear it will spin the wheels a little bit, but it's not kind of manic crazy spinning of wheels. It's uh, yeah. I mean, I can I can deal with that power delivery very very easily. Uh, third gear you can pretty much boot it and it'll be fine. And third, so yeah, that's. Uh, I'm really imp I'm actually generally impressed. These cars, especially driving these silly car builds in the rain, they have fared a lot better in, than I was ever expecting them to. I thought they were going to be atrocious here, but no, it, it's, it's faring pretty well. Speed towards the line! What is that, a 56? We are three seconds down. We need to find three seconds on this last lap if, uh, <laughs> if we are going to beat the Lotus. Despite being 100 pi higher, I'm not sure I can find three seconds here. I think the uh, 211 may take this one, but uh, I will give it a try. We were a second down on the first sector on that lap. I think we are doing better this time around. I think we are We are certainly doing better. Whether it's three seconds better, I don't know. I'm trying to jump on that power as soon as I can down here. Oh, it's two and a half seconds better. Oh, no, 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 Randy Fighter, bad car, bad car. Well, that's fluffed it all up. We were... We were on for a decent, a decent time. We may still get a quicker time. I don't think we're going to have made up all of the time that we needed. Ah, oh, it's the, the front end liking to come up and play, and now we're on the grass. Boot it and go for it. Oh, there's a tie bundle there. <laughs> Damn it. Ah, oh, uh, we haven't actually crossed the line yet. Where is the line? Oh, it's there. I thought the line was closer than it was. Arse. We were going a couple of seconds quicker. Uh, in fact, we got about two and a half seconds quicker. We we definitely could have got in the 54s um, with it. In the end, it's the, the front end of this, lifting up when you don't want it to, that causes the problem, especially when you're trying to deliver all of this crazy, crazy power. The front of the car does like to uh, to lift itself up ever so slightly through the corners that uh, yeah, causes some issues. Um, it was easier to drive than I thought, though. I, I thought we were going to have a lot more problems with the Rally Fighter, but um, yeah, in all honesty, it, it's not quite... Even throwing it in ridiculous wet weather conditions, it's still not that bad to uh, to drive around Brands Hatch. Yeah, thoroughly impressed with uh, this vehicle so far. However, perhaps the speed run is going to be even more of a challenge for it. Right, to Le Mans with the uh, with the Rally Fighter. Uh, we're probably going to get some decent speed out of this car. We're probably going to get sort of 230 miles an hour potentially out of uh, <laughs> top speed failed. Well, that's uh, a new one. Um, I don't know what to do with gearing then. If it's not going to tell me, well, it's just not to 60, 60 seconds. Not why? Um. Uh. I I don't. Why are we taking thirty eight seconds to sixty? I mean, like a VW Camper does it quicker than that. I know. I I know this will do at least one hundred and forty because I did it in the pouring rain. I don't know what to do with the gears then. Uh, I don't know whether we should extend them. I think it's just going to be a case of since I'm doing this in test drive. Oh yes, yeah, make it all fail everything. Fantastic. Um, we're doing this in test drive, so if I start them off uh, where they were, if they're too short, I can adjust them on the fly. Uh, oh, now it's. Uh, now we're down to 4.7 seconds to 60 and everything, I don't know. Uh, I think the suspension wobble may be too much for <laughs> the uh, the benchmark to comprehend. Okay, uh, time to see what the uh, Rally Fighter is capable of. Yeah, no idea from the benchmark. I'm going to guess about 230, potentially. My concern, whoa, my concerns, uh, there are two big concerns. The first of is... Uh, as you can see, it's moving around. Now, if we have to make any slight corrections on the way down the course, 
uh, at 200 miles an hour plus I'm not sure if that's just going to get the front of the truck in the air and if we do that we're going to have a huge accident and the other concern well we saw what happened to uh, what we see what we see what happened to all of the so far the city car bills that have gone down here the alpha and the dodge when they try to take the corner and the bumps involved down there then this has got the softest bounciest suspension of the lot so I'm expecting trouble I will be honest, I'm expecting lots of trouble, and the fact that we nearly fell over going around that corner does not fill me with a huge amount of confidence. Stop going up in the air! <laughs> I have never had to brake for that part of the road before, ever. I've been flat out coming down that section. I've spun at that previous corner because of the horrible bumps, yes, but I've never had to brake set off down here. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I am terrified of what this car is going to do as we're starting to get up to speed now it's over 200 miles an hour in a rally fighter 200 and are we going to get 215 i think we are going to get 215 there we go probably not going to get a huge amount more than that unless we can make the turn to 17 come on come on car to 18 to that's about it if we can make the turn we might get more as we start going downhill oh big wheelie big wheelie big two-wheel moment oh we scrape the wall with oh now we're really bouncing oh brakes brakes get it under control <laughs> oh dear <laughs> this is a ludicrous thing i actually felt like i'd broken the suspension inside i think because i got so used to driving down the straight and we were like tilted backwards when we were now going slower again it felt like something could collapse um <laughs> 218 miles an hour in a rally fighter it took the turn better than expected i mean we it, it got a huge wheelie but it actually kind of um yeah made it around the turn slightly better the uh, the rally fighter is ludicrous with this much power and the suspension how it comes uh, it is absolutely bonkers trying to keep control of this because it does kind of have a mind of its own it kind of likes to um, move around on the suspension quite a lot make it very scary for you trying to uh, control it but I mean it was going pretty quickly around Brands Hatch admittedly it is as I said at 100 pi near enough more than the Lotus but uh, if it hadn't got that big twitch on through the final section if we hadn't got it up on the on three wheels uh, yeah we were going on for a for a relatively decent lap time easier to control than i expected but still very difficult to uh, to drive yeah like sort of power delivery wise I mean, these cars are faring really well despite having thousands of horsepower these cars are faring really really well it was the suspension on this and similar story a little bit with the dodge as well the suspension that uh, it couldn't quite deal with the speeds that we were suddenly asking it to do it wasn't really designed for these kind of speeds in mind but uh, yeah, Rally Fighter, uh, an interesting bouncy one, certainly, and uh, still plenty of straight line speed, and put up a good fight in the rain as well. Anyway, that is it for this uh, video, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye.